Hey guys, welcome back. Nice survival. We're in the workshop today. We have a new trooper handle for a half hatchet that I have. I'm going to be hanging this today. This is a Stanley, an older Stanley made in the USA half hatchet. I've had this for a few years. So wind up, uh, the handle gave out on me. And as you can see, I've been fitting it. I didn't want this video to be too long. And I've been working on uh, fitting this thing into the into the head here. So let me continue doing this. I want to try to uh, get this down to around this area here. So when you're fitting these, you want to try to um, make the, the wood fill up the entire space of the head. And this one's actually a little bit thin up top. It's not filling out the whole area. So I may have to wind up getting this a little deeper. Maybe another quarter inch or so. Hopefully. It'll fill up a little bit more of this top area. As you can see, the, the hatchet head's starting to uh, <clears throat> peel back some of the, the wood. Three eighths more. Maybe I'll just keep going. Let me see the orientation. Orientation is pretty good. So I picked up this. I picked up this handle on uh, eBay. It seems to be pretty good quality. The uh, it's not as important as a full axe handle. The uh, orientation of the grain, but. It's kind of like on a 45, which is good. And the quality seems like it's, it's pretty, uh, fairly decent too. The only problem I have with this, I think the top is a little narrow, but we'll get through that. I may have to pull this off again. Just starting to shave some on this side. Well, I think I'm going to pull this off and maybe trim it down a little bit more so I can get it down to. I want to get this portion to cover the uh, the notch. So this may be hard to get this off now. Eh, maybe not. As you can see, the head actually scribes an area that you need to take down for it. And I'll tell you what, this is hard wood, man. But it's just a process of trial, you know, trim it a little bit, do a test fit, trim it a little bit more, test fit it again, and so on and so on until you get it right. You just gotta make sure you just don't take too much out and you wanna keep it tight. This video is a little bit more for the people that have never really done it before. I'm not a super expert. I've only done a few of these. Um, you know, how often do you break a handle, you know?
I don't think the actual I think it's actually a little bit the angle of this woods a little steeper on this side that's why the head's starting to dig into it yeah you just got to work with what you got Alright, so after we get this down, we'll uh, we'll put the wedge in it. Just a little bit more, I think we're we're okay. Looks like it should be going forward a little bit more. Should be playing some music while we're doing this. But the uh, media sites don't like that because of copyright. So we gotta keep it silent. Other than me talking. I think we're gonna call that pretty good. So when you put the wedge in this, what it's doing for the people that don't realize, the way these axe heads are cut out, they're wider at the top than they are at the bottom. So when you put this wedge in, it splays the wood out. And then when you put these wedges in like this, it pushes the, the wood out to the front and back and then you should have a solid uh, hang. So, still not happy with the top portion of it, but whatever. It's a ten dollar. Uh, it's a ten dollar uh, handle. So, that went crooked on me. Why did that go crooked? A lot of times you'll see guys uh, hang these uh, on YouTube and they'll do a lot of editing. I like to show everything all my screw-ups because guess what it's just unfortunately that's what happens sometimes sometimes things don't go as planned all right I think that's good still not real happy with the top you can see it's short here but it is what it is Get the saw. All right, guys, we got the wedge in. I cut it flush. I wanted to leave like an eighth inch, but there really wasn't enough wood for me to do that. So I'm going to wind up putting one of these wedges in. They're pretty big. I'm probably only going to put like one wedge in here. So grab the ball peen. 
I'm just seeing to be a pain in the butt to get in correctly. There you have it. Maybe I'll run this on the belt sander and get this smoothed out. But there's the, the hang on the old Stanley USA made half hatchet. American Hickory. I'll probably do a little more work on this edge and I'll put it right back into service. Alright guys, thanks a lot for hanging in there. Remember, like, subscribe, share. I'll catch you next time. See ya.